Hi everyone, have a great day. This is Happy Rich Mama. Today I'm going to talk about the importance of having an oximeter during the COVID pandemic. Because of this pandemic, the oximeter has been very much in demand. And so I wanted to get the real one. So I went, I asked my helper Goya to go to Mercury to inquire. And the oximeter in Mercury drug is 2,500. And it's not available. You have to leave your phone number and they will call you once it becomes available. So here I am now unboxing two deliveries of Paul's oximeter purchased from Lazada by my kids. One is about 260 and the other one I think is 205. Very cheap. It's about less than 10% of what it costs to get the real one from Mercury. And so we have just opened the first one and I realized that it can be point finger down or point finger up but I will I will still check if they will give the same reading I actually researched and it says also you can use the middle finger or you can insert your finger uh, facing upwards or facing down and so um, in this unboxing and review I will do it using my index finger which is also okay and it facing upwards and it facing down so this first trial is the index finger facing down this oximeter has this description in the box. It's easy to read for color LED display. It has a low battery indicator, particularly suitable for persons with heart failure, chronic obstructive pulmonary diseases, and bronchial asthma. It includes a, re a retaining strap and belt pouch, and it's suitable for sports at high altitudes uh, for example mountaineering um, skiing and aviation sports it also has cautions explosive hazard do not use the oximeter in environment with inflammable gas such as some ignitable anesthetic agents or other materials do not use the oximeter while the test T is under MRI or CT scanning. Okay, so I got 97% and 81 pulses for the first reading. Here is the second uh, pulse oximeter that we got. And um, this one is 205 pesos, I think. I will put the uh, picture there of the uh, receipt for this. Has the following descriptions on the box it's widely used at home community centers etc accurately measures spo2 and pr spo2 and pr display waveform bar graph and pl display low battery indicator low power consumption auto power off when no signal Pulse sound function, alarm function, small in size and light in weight. Storage temperature is from 20 degrees to 55 degrees Celsius and it is also waterproof. These two boxes carry um, a leaflet but they're quite almost impossible to read the this second one is better the first one is really absolutely almost impossible to read what is most important for us now 
is to have an accurate and reliable one button operation oximeter you just clip it onto your finger and turn it on at the press of a button automatically power off powers off after five seconds when not in use these are both the uh, characteristics of the two oximeters that we got and it's better i think than the watch that i am using which only registered 95 to 96 percent for me <laughs> let's learn how important it is for a somebody at home to have an oximeter during this COVID pandemic. The purpose of pulse oximetry is to check how well a heart is pumping oxygen through the body. It may be used to monitor the health of individuals with any type of condition that can affect blood uh, oxygen levels, especially while they're in the hospital or even at home. These conditions include lung disease or heart diseases. It assesses how well a new lung medication is working. It evaluates how a ventilator is working. It monitors oxygen levels during or after surgical procedures that require sedation. It determines how effective supplemental oxygen therapy is, especially when treatment is new. It assesses the individual's ability to tolerate increased physical activity and it evaluates whether individual momentarily stops breathing while sleeping, like in a case of sleep apnea during a sleep study. From medicinenet.com again, Dr. Richard Leviton, an MD, says that the use of home finger pulse oximeters by patients with COVID-19 could preempt the precipitous oxygen desaturation that leads to a crisis that needs intensive care. Pulse oximetry is a quick, non-invasive test that measures the oxygen level, oxygen saturation in the blood. It is an easy, painless method to measure how well oxygen is carried to parts of the body farthest from the heart, such as the arms and legs. The pulse oximeter is a clip-like device that is attached to a body part such as a finger or earlobe. This device uses light to measure how much oxygen is in the blood. This information helps to know if a person needs extra oxygen. It can show whether the heart and lungs are supplying sufficient oxygen through your body. Okay, what else do we need to know? What are the benefits of pulse oximetry? Pulse oximeters are useful for people who have conditions that affect blood oxygen levels. Pulse oximetry can help monitor oxygen saturation over time, alert to dangerously low oxygen levels, particularly in newborns, offer peace of mind to people with chronic respiratory or ca cardiovascular conditions. Assess the need for supplemental oxygen, monitor oxygen saturation levels in people under anesthesia, indicate dangerous side effects in people taking drugs that affect breathing or oxygen saturation, determine the effectiveness of breathing interventions such as oxygen therapy and ventilators. This is the one that's used for COVID patients. Both oximeters indicated to put the index finger downwards. And these are the results when I tested downwards and upwards. What do you think? I just know that it's better that I have it for purposes of my feeling well, that I have something to depend on. And so that's good. Thank you to my travels, gardens, Ikinobo Ikibana, zero waste gardening, making money, painting, family, friends, prayers. Please like my video. Please ring the bell below for notifications. Naku, maraming salamat po sa inyo.